guys Bailey here and today I am back with another or I'm back with a collection video um I didn't know where to film for this week because I had a whole bunch pre-filmed and then I ended up uploading them all but I asked on Instagram actually what would you guys like to see either a Disney Dorable collection video or a Figural Keyring collection video and I actually got way more votes for Disney Dorables than I thought I definitely thought it was gonna be Disney Dor- I mean I definitely thought it was gonna be Figural Keyrings but I got way more for Disney Dorable so that's what we are doing um I have the first, or I have series one and series two complete the Disney Dorables, not counting play sets, only blind box ones. But I do have two play sets and I have some Disney Dorables from play sets without the actual play set. So I will be showing you guys those as well. We will go through series one first and I will show you guys series two. I have the check with, checklist with me so I can show you guys that as well. And we're just going to hop into this real quick because this is going to be a longer video since I do have every single one. So let's just hop right in so this is how i display my disney adorables as you guys can see down here we have them right here and in these rows and then i also have them up there um so i just want to show you guys these before i take them down to show you guys them up close here we have the disney adorable series one checklist this was the one with the blue doors um those are all the rarities you could have got here are all of them. The black marks are obviously was me crossing them off. So I did kind of cross off the rarity on some of them. I probably won't be saying the rarity of them as I go because that will take a lot extra. So if you really want to know, you can either just pause these and look at the color or go online and see them for yourself. But yes, I'm going to start showing you guys the figures now. So first we have a Minnie Mouse with the red dress and the red bow this one is sparkly because this one is a ultra rare so all the sparkly ones are considered considered ultra rare so if you just want to keep that in mind then we have this mini mouse in a blue dress this one's super cute i think i like this one better than that one so there's a lot of paint flaws on this one though then here we have daisy duck and also donald duck came in this set and lastly for the mickey and friends we have Goofy, and we also have Pluto. Tangled set, we have Rapunzel, of course, with her long hair. We have Flynn Rider. We have Mother Gothel, which I really like her hair. So we have Maximus right here. He has an apple on his head. This one's really cute. I like how you can tell what he has four legs. And then lastly, we have Pascal, which is also a ultra rare. Next, we're going to do the Lilo and Stitch set. So first here, we have Lilo. This one's called Lilo Luau. And then we have Nani, which is really, I think they made her look really, really cute. Next, we have Alien Stitch is what it's called. He's like full alien form. And then we have the ultra rare Stitch. I really like how they did his eyes on these. And then we have Scrump, which is really cute because you can just tell it's like a rag doll. And that's it for that barn bag pack, but I actually bought this one, which is Lilo from her playset, but I did not want her playset. And someone was just selling her separately, so I bought her. So this is just Lilo by her, like normal, which I like better than the Lilo, Lilo Luau. Next, we're gonna hop into the Moana set. So here we have Maui, which I think he looks super cute and his like little tattoos are so adorable with his big hook. We have Maui Hawk, which is an ultra rare. This one took me, I didn't even never found this one in a blind bag. A friend actually sent it to me. But um, here we have Grandma Nala, which I think they did her super cute and I really like her hair. Then we have a Kakamora. This one's from the series one. We have Hey Hey, with his little beak. And we have Pua. And then we're going to start with the Beauty and the Beast section. We have Gaston. We have Mrs. Potts here. This is the Series 1 Mrs. Potts. We have Belle Blue Dress. That's the name of this one. I really like how big her bow is back there. We have Maurice. Like you can see his tools in his front pocket right there. We have wardrobe which i think is super duper cute and lastly from this one we have cogsworth which is an ultra rare 
Next we have Zootopia. We have Judy, Judy Hopps Farmer. And I think her hat is super cute and how her ears are like folded down. Then we have Mayor Lionheart. Next we have Jumbo. I think he looks really nice. Then we have Nick Wilde, which is a ultra rare. And lastly, we have Flash, which is my favorite one, and he is so freaking cute. Next, we're going to do the Peter Pan series. Here we have Peter Pan himself. Then we have Tinkerbell. She's an ultra rare, so she is glittery. Then we have John, and I think he looks super duper cute with his glasses. Then we have Nana. I think she looks adorable too. Then we have Wendy with her big bow in the back. I think her hair looks funny, but that's just me. And then the last one for Peter Pan is the Lost Boy Cubby. And then for Monsters Inc., which is my favorite set from this series, we have Sully here. We have Mike, Mike Wazowski. I love his little hard hat. We have Celia, which we don't see a lot of stuff made for her, so I thought it was really cool that they put her in this. We have George Sanderson with the sock on his back. Iconic. Then we have Roz, which is definitely one of my favorites. I love her eyebrows. And her mouth is so cute. And then we have Boo in costume, which is an ultra rare. This one's adorable. And then that's it for the blind box ones. But actually, I do have a playset of this one. This is the playset. This is the figure. So here's the Boo figure. She is so cute. I had to have it because Boo is one of my favorite Disney characters ever. And I had to have it Ooh, after I knew she had a playset. And it also comes with like little accessories like the battery and a TV and a little her little kitty doll or Mike Wazowski doll. I forgot what she called it. I haven't watched this movie in forever, but... It's just her little tiny doll. Can't really tell. But yeah, there's that. Okay, next I'm going to show you guys the special edition set. These are all the Winnie the Pooh ones. These are all flocked figures. And these are all considered the special edition. Here we have Pooh Bear flocked. And he's a little bee on his head. And he's holding a honey pot. And I think this one's so cute. Then we have Piglet. They're all a little bit dusty from being on my stand. But he's super cute. Then we have Eeyore, and he obviously looks sad, but I like his little tail, and you can see that there's the bow there. Then we have Christopher Robin, and he's just sitting down. And then we have Rue, which I think he's so cute. He's adorable. And then we have a Heffalump, which is also one of my favorites from this series. Just so stinking cute. Then we have Tigger, which I also think they did him so good. Here's the owl, which I absolutely think is so cute. And the last one from this set is the rabbit. One on a little carrot. Now we have the Alice in Wonderland ones. Here we have the white rabbit holding the clock. I love how big his feet are. Then we have Cheshire Cat lying, it's called. It's just a Cheshire Cat with his tail up. Then we have Cheshire Cat regular this one is an ultra rare then we also have the queen of hearts which is an ultra rare so this one has two ultra rares in the set super cute then we have the caterpillar and then lastly we have dormouse which i think is so cute but he has so many paint flaws and actually this one also had a huge play set that I did not buy, but I did buy the Mad Hatter by itself because I thought he was fun and I don't have him, so I just got him. Next we're going to do the Pinocchio set. Here we have the Blue Fairy and her wings are crooked and I like can't fix them, so it's fine. But yeah, there's the Blue Fairy. Then we have Geppetto. I like his glasses a lot. Then we have Cleo. Then we have Jiminy Cricket, which is a ultra rare, and he's so cute. I love him. Then we have Figaro, which is super cute. And lastly, we have Pinocchio Donkey. 
And the very last set we have is the Frozen set. I turned the angle this way so you guys can see me place them because I have to put them over here. So, yeah. First we have Oaken from the Frozen set. He is so cute. Definitely one of my favorites out of this whole entire series. Then we have Marshmallow. I really like how they did his eyes. They did it like the Stitch ones. Then we have Kristoff here. And then we have Anna Coronation. And I really like their hair, or her hair in this. And also we have Elsa Coronation. And her hair is really cute too. And then lastly we have Sven, which I think is definitely one of my top favorites and he's so cute. And that's it from all the blind bags, but actually there was a Frozen playset, and I wanted to get a couple, or I got two from them. I didn't want the playset though, but I have Olaf here, which I think is super cute. And then I also have Elsa, like not the Coronation version, and I think she's really cute, so I just have those. And then the very last thing I have from Season 1 is I actually got one of the limited editions. I got Finnick. And this is him. He is metallic and he's actually really cool. It's the only special edition I got out of series one and series two. So I didn't get quite lucky even though I bought so many of blind bags of these. But now that I've completed the series, I'm obviously not buying any more because I don't want to waste any more money. But also here's the tag. So there was 10,000 of these made, which is kind of a lot, but I mean, I only did find one of them, so. That's pretty cool. So here's the entire series one or season one set um, of Disney Dorables. This is all of them, not counting every single playset, not counting every single playset character, not counting on the limited editions, but every single one out of a blind box that I could check off on a checklist is here, obviously besides limited editions. But that's the entire series one. Okay, well now on to series two. Here's the checklist. This is the one with the green doors, the same rarities. And this is the... my phone's gonna die. And this is the checklist. You can pause to see the rarities. I have to go through it pretty quick because the first part's already pretty long and my phone's gonna die. So, and I got zero, I got no limited editions in this one, so. Just the regular ones. So let's just get right into it. So first we're going to start off with the Aladdin set. Here we have Princess Jasmine and I think she's actually super cute. This is in the Jasmine purple outfit. And I really like her earrings. And then we have Prince Ali. I really like the gold accents on those characters. And then we have the Genie which is an ultra, ultra rare. Next we have Raja, which I think is so cute. This one is like actually so freaking cute. It's my favorite one out of the Aladdin set for sure. And we have Aladdin himself. And lastly from this set we have Abu. Next we have the Little Mermaid set. So here we have Ariel in the pink dress. She's an ultra rare. Then we have Prince Eric. Here we have Scuttle, which is actually a really hard one to find. I actually never did find it. Um, this was the last one that I needed for a long time, and then I found someone that was selling it on Mercari for $10, $10, and I had to have it, so I got it then. Now there are people selling for way more, so I'm happy I got it at that price. Then we have Max. We have Sebastian. Then we have Flounder, which I think is super cute. And lastly, for the Ariel set, we have Ursula, which they did so good on. They actually had a playset for this one, and this is the only playset that I got. Here is the playset itself. It came with this accessory, a fork, and a little tiny seashell. That actually opens up, but I'm not going to open it. And let me show you the figure up close. It's Ariel holding a fork or a dingle hopper. And that's the only place that I got. I do really want the Vanellope playset, but um, Disney Dorables never put it out. And now that it's out, people are finding it right now, and I haven't found it at my Target yet. So, waiting for that one. Next, we have the Wreck-It Ralph set, which is actually one of my all-time favorite sets. The, here we have Ralph. 
He is so, 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 so cute. Then we have Princess Vanellope. She's an ultra rare. Here we have Candlehead. I think her mouth is a little bit too low, like they placed it too low, but she's still cute. And then here we have Fix It Felix, which is so cute with his little gold hammer. His hat. Then we have Taffeta Mutton Fudge. She's really cute though. She reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake. And then lastly from this one we have, is this, what does it say? Rancis Flugger Butter. This one took me a while to find too, actually. The next, this is the special edition set, so this is the series that's all flocked. This one was Lion King, and so let's just hop right into it. Here we have Simba. I think these are apps so, 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 so cute. Here we have Nala. Then we have Mufasa. And Scar. I really like how you can actually see the scar on his eye. Then we have Timon and Pumbaa, which is one of my favorites. He's so cute. And then we have Zazu. His like piece of flock is like coming off. And then we have which one? This one. This one's Shenzi. I really like the hyenas. And lastly, we have Rafiki. So next is the Frozen set. They did another Frozen in the series too. So here we have Elsa Frozen Fever. Here we have Anna Frozen Fever. She has a lot of paint error. Next we have Hans. Then we have Olaf with sunglasses, which is so cute. And the last one from the set's my favorite is Bolda, which is one of the trolls, and I think he's super cute. Next series we have is Alice in Wonderland. They did another Alice in Wonderland one. I don't know why they did repeats in this set because there's so many movies they could have chose from. They did do a lot of new movies, but they did do a lot of duplicates. So here is another Alice in Wonderland one. We have another white rabbit, but he's not holding a clock in this one. He's holding a trumpet or something. Still really cute, but yeah. Then we have, what's his name? March Hare. He's holding a little teacup. And here we have Alice Falling, which is her upside down. She's an ultra rare. And here we have Alice Tea Party. I think she is actually really cute. They made her really, really, really cute. And here we have, this one is Tweedledee, is that one upside down. And then we also have Tweedledum. So Tweedledee and Tweedledum. These ones are really cute. I like these ones a lot. And then my absolute favorite set out of both Series 1 and Series 2 is this one here itself. This is Toy Story. And I absolutely love these ones. These ones are my absolute favorite. And I love the metallic on them. I don't know why they're metallic. They only made this set metallic. They are every single figure is. And I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. So here's Woody. And then we have Jessie. As you can see, like her hat is like a metallic sheen. And so is her outfit. Then we have Buzz, which he looks super good. We have Bo Peep, which is super cute. And this is obviously like the older Toy Story, not based off of Toy Story 4. These two are my favorite ones. We have Rex, which is so stinking cute. And Ham. And he has a little plug right there. Next, we have another Mickey and Friends set, which I don't understand once again, but to start off with, we have another Daisy Duck, which I also don't understand why we needed another one of her, and we also got another Goofy, which I don't understand, but he does look different. There's not much of a difference in Daisy Duck besides I think it's the way she's looking, but him on the other one, his whole face was black, so I think they wanted to redo that, but... I do. I mean, I like them, but I don't understand why we needed another one. And this one we do get Mickey, though, so that's pretty cool. Here's Mickey Mouse. This one's my favorite one from this. This is Clarabelle, and I think she's so cute. And we also have Chip right here and Dale. And he's just holding an acorn. Super cute. Next, we have another Tangled set. Like I said, repeats, but it's okay. Um, here we have... Rapunzel's frying pan. 
here we have young Rapunzel and she's an ultra rare and there's a little Pascal on her and there's little feet she's just sitting out I think this one's really cute and then we have Rapunzel with short hair we have another Flynn Rider which I don't get I think he's just looking the opposite way too so and last one from the set is Red Pascal which I do not like I think it's really not a cute figure but fun <laughs> Next set is Moana set. It's like another repeat, but I do really like these figures. In the last set, we also did not get a Moana for the Moana set, so I'm happy that this one we do. And she's so cute. I really love her hair. We also have a Tafiti, which I think is one of my favorites as well. We have another Kakamora, but it's, it obviously looks different. We have Maui Shark. And we also have another Pua. We have another Beauty and the Beast set. Here we actually have Belle Winter Outfit is what it's called. Then we have Beast. He's like all fancy and cute. Then we have LeFou. LeFou. I think it's the ugliest one out of the whole set. And I had so many duplicates of these. But I do not like them. I mean I just have it to have it. But I do not think he's cute. And also the paint jobs on every single one of these sucked. Like every single one I got had a paint flaw. Like a really bad one too. Then my favorites is Mrs. Potts and Chip, and, or Chip. And you can see his little Chip there. So these ones are really cute. And then we have a Zootopia set, which I actually is another duplicate, but I actually really like these ones too. So here we have Judy Hopps and her like cop costume or whatever. Her eye I just realized is like falling out, but it's not going back in. So that's fun to look at. And then we have Nick Wilde, also in like the cop uniform. Here we have Finnick elephant costume, and he's holding the big, the little popsicles. And he's so cute. Then we have Chief Bogo. One of my favorites is Claw Hauser. He is, was an ultra rare, and he's holding a really big donut. And he's so cute. I love his little spots. And last one from this one is Bellwether, and I think she's actually super cute. Even though she's evil, she's super cute. And the very last set we have is another Peter Pan set. Like I guess that again, do not understand why we needed another one, but we got one. So here we have the Lost Boys Slightly. With a lot of paint flaws as you can see. I'm putting them down on the bottom right here so you can't see. Um, then we have Peter Pan. I think he's cuter than the first one, but I still don't understand why we needed another one. But here's Peter Pan. Here is Wendy. They definitely made her cuter as well. Her hair is way better. So I like this one much more than the first series. We have another Tinkerbell. She was also an ultra rare in this series. We have Michael, which is super cute. And he has a little teddy bear. And last but not least, we have Mr. Smee, which is so cute, but there's so many paint falls on him, so it makes me sad. But he's super cute. So that is it for the Series 2 set. There's all of them complete. Every single one that you can get off, off mark, every single one that you can mark off on the checklist, I did. So here is the complete Series 2, just with one playset. And one to come when, the vanilla, when I find the vanilla piece. Oh yeah, that was my entire Disney Adorables collection. Series 1, Series 2, playsets, ones that I've gotten from playsets and everything. I'm only looking for one more playset, which is a vanilla piece one. And I will get that once I get that. Um, Sadly, they did confirm that there won't be a series three, so I'm upset about that, but hey, my bank account probably isn't. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below if you have any questions or video requests. Definitely let me know if you guys want to see more collection via videos. I am going to be doing a Funko Pop one pretty soon. I'm just waiting for one more package to come in, and that one will be a very, probably a longer video, because I want to show you guys them out of box, each of them out of box before I get way too crazy and this gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm waiting for one more to come in that I'm extremely excited for and I mean extremely excited. I will be doing a Funko Pop collection video but if you guys want to see like a Disney Doorbells collection video, a Yummy World collection video, figure with key ring collection video, stuff like that, then please comment down below and let me know or let me know on my Instagram account at Bailey Flying Bags because I will, I, I am on there all the time. I always respond to DMs, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so please let me know if you guys have any video requests and my social media usernames will be in the description box down below. I recommend you follow me in those because I post in those quite often, especially on my Twitter account, plus on that daily. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys 
on Saturday. Yeah, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Thank you.